It seemed like today for the 11 team that was flashes of brilliance here and there. How would you size up your fifth place finish? Uh, not a whole lot of brilliance, just very average. <laughs> you know, just uh, weren't very good. Um, you know, first half of the race, we, we had the balance, you know, kind of out of whack. And then once we got a little better, the speed picked up. So um, certainly not fast enough to, to run with the Chevys or Hendrick cars right now uh, on these types of racetracks. But uh, we got 750s coming up where we've been you know, very, very strong. And, um, you know, just hope to have a solid day next week and move on. Denny, when the car was overheating, how close to you were you to saying, I got to pull it in, this is too much? Yeah, I wasn't to that point. Um, you know, it's just we were right right up against the limit. So I just, uh, you know, understood kind of situational awareness of what was going on with some other guys. And so made sure that we uh, we didn't try to give it away there. Go back to the beginning of the race and so much concern with the wind. Uh, you didn't ultimately damage it, didn't look like in a big way, the 11 car. How'd you avoid that? Yeah, just, I mean, you really had to be careful. Um, you had to be careful when you were on the inside of somebody. Um, it really could take away a lot of air to the front end and it just would take off. So you just, I saw people having issues and so I just kind of took it down a notch there and made sure I, I, I managed my, my risk. Some would say there's no safe place to be. You are P3 plus 32 heading to one of your best racetracks in Martinsville, set up next weekend. Yeah, just, um, you know, want to have a good solid day. You know, I think we'll have a really good car when we go there. So just want to battle for a win. That's, you know, if we battle for a win, we're, we're going to be fine no matter where we finish. A lot of confidence heading to Martinsville next week, guys.